hello hello beautiful sagittarius welcome into my channel the rare gazelle my name is reem and welcome into your reading this is going to be for sun moon rising and venus sagittarius i'm going to get started on your spiritual growth your personal development healing and guidance and then i will flow into your romantic love life reading love life reading so time stamps in the comment section down below but first i'm going to read through the channeled messages that i received for you in order that they came in in order that i wrote them and then we'll get into the charms and then we'll get into the cards and unfold these messages naturally okay in this space all right, thank you to my great grandmother Nyla. Thank you, Spirit of the Most High. Thank you, Goddess Sonona Esther. Thank you, Goddess Isis. Thank you for your guidance, for your love, your protection. Thank you. Messages for Sagittarius, Sun and Rising, and or Venus, North Node, South Node. Doesn't matter wherever your your placements are and however you're guided to this message. I trust that it's for you, and when it is for you, as when you see it, um, my readings are timeless. Okay. Um, all right, so I got channeled your mission uncovered something unexpected um depending on your timeline this could have already happened or this is something that is happening for you so your mission uncovered something unexpected this could be of the self and or of the world cosmos or universal secrets and there's something very interesting that your spiritual energies are doing you are so focused on something um i feel like something i feel like you're on your journey you're on your path like you're on your mission and you're just kind of minding your own your own business you're staying in your own lane and then some kind of energy like came out of this like forest i'm seeing like a forest and now i'm seeing fairies i'm seeing like something it's definitely an um it's definitely an energy but it feels also physical it feels like a physical earth matter consciousness some kind of earth matter some kind of energy kind of like came came towards you it pulled your focus it pulled on your like spiritual magnetism and you're assessing this energy you're assessing you're observing it you're locating its patterning you're locating patterns you are viewing the reoccurring signs to try to explain things because there's something very inexplainable i'm also getting non-verbal like this energy does not speak back it doesn't speak language okay um so i feel like you're picking up on the signs you're picking up on the patterning through observation through assessment through analysis to understand it and to explain things um I don't feel like this is a derailment or a delay or a detour. It feels like it feels like it's meant for you to uncover if that if this makes sense. Um something suppressed is no longer suppressed because of you. So again, it's like this energy wants you to uncover it. This energy is seeking you out because you have the ability as the truth seeker, right? We talked about this before. You have the ability to draw things out. You have the ability to pull the truth out, to uncover, all right? You're a Sagittarius. And I feel like for this group that I'm channeling right now, um, you might be noticing that some people are telling you truths out of nowhere. Like you are just uncovering truths. You're, it's almost like your, your energy is so potent that it's drawing truths out without even trying, without even like pulling teeth i feel like before it may might be like it's pulling you're pulling teeth to draw things out to draw the truth out but this is just happening so naturally for you that truths are just coming to the surface so i don't know if you're noticing that around you where you're just finding out the truths like this or people are telling you things um but whatever this energy is this energy cannot speak 
and it's like you're on your mission you're on your journey you're on this path and you're about to cross right you're about to cross um, paths with this energy and it's like this energy has been seeking you out and waiting for your energy because you have all of the gifts and all of the tools to pull this energy out to get the understanding to understand this energy to understand its truth okay again this could be you okay yourself this could be and or of the world the cosmos this could be universal secrets and interestingly enough, this could also be another person, okay? Their thoughts and their feelings. So if you're connected to someone romantically, I'm getting specifically romantically. This could be a friend, this could be a family member, but I'm seeing romance, okay? If this person has been been unable to communicate their thoughts their feelings their emotions to you i feel like you're observing this person so closely you're analyzing them you are assessing them to understand their patterns that they cannot speak of or understand themselves and you're pinpointing the recurring signs around them it's so interesting how you're like picking up their synchronicities to try to explain how they feel, to try to explain what their thoughts are because it affects you somehow. Okay, that's how you're able to do that. It's because it affects you, okay? So it's interesting how that's coming through. So that's in relation to love, which we'll get into in just a little bit. But whatever energy that you resonate with and however you are experiencing this, again, it could be the self, the cosmos, universal secrets, or another person, okay? It's nonverbal. However, this energy is coming through out of this darkness, out of the shadows, out of this forest, this depth, okay? It's nonverbal. But you're locating its patterns, the reoccurring signs around it um, to try to explain it, okay? And to unearth its truths for understanding, okay? It's seeking you, okay? Um, but again, like, th this affects you somehow, okay? Um, I'm getting the tower because of this unexpected energy, um, I'm also getting Mars and Aries that's coming through. And then I got the mirrored numbers 34 and 43, um, which reduce down to 7 and 7. They add to 14 and also reduce down to 5. So you could be seeing 555 five, five and a tremendous amount, excuse me, of mirrored numbers. See, my throat chakra is going to be opening up throughout this reading because this is a not like this energy cannot speak it's almost like you're trying you're giving voice to something um it's, re it's really interesting how it's coming through um and then i also got number 624 624 624 but what's so fascinating is that i just realized that this is june 24th so there's some kind of shift in four days. Now I'm seeing the chariot because it's going to be cancer season, right? I don't know if we're all reading cancer season. Um, I don't know, but we're heading into cancer season real soon. So June 24th, there's some kind of shift in four days. But 624 adds up to 11. Okay, so now I'm seeing 1111 or 111. And 11 is also 2. Okay, so I'm getting new partnership, some kind of renewal. Um, but that one, one, okay, that 11, right? They're pillars and what these pillars are doing are holding energies that are passing through it. Okay. And this is a focused path. So I feel like this is what I see. Okay. I know this is long that I'm channeling without the cards, but just bear with me and then we'll showcase things visually, hopefully. I see you moving like this on your path, okay? And then I see this 11 frequency right here. 
as you're traveling. So as you're traveling on your mission, on your journey, on your path, oh, you notice something. You notice something in the depth. See how I'm doing this? Because it's, it's the depths. Okay, I'm seeing it literally like they're showing me it's coming out of a forest, like something deep within a forest. I don't know why. Um, so you're walking and this is that 11 frequency and like something is pulling on your spiritual magnetism and you can't help but turn towards this energy and focus on it. And that's what this 11 energy is. It's a focused path. And so in between these energies, in between these pillars, okay, there's patterns and there's reoccurring signs that are being held in the space that you are focused on, that you are observing, that you are assessing and spiritually analyzing them. It's like you're a spiritual analyst for this energy to understand it, to explain things. Um... Again, like I don't know how this affects you, but it's like it's been seeking you out. Okay, again, this could be the self, this could be and or of the world, the cosmos, universal secrets, or another person, okay, who can't verbalize themselves, who can't speak, who can't, who is having trouble communicating their emotions. Um, maybe even like they're, they're traumatic. They're like gone through so much trauma. Um, this could even be like your inner child. This could be an aspect of yourself. Now I'm saying soul retrieval for some of you. Okay. Um, let me get into the charms cause I'm so curious and then we'll get into the cards. Okay. Thank you. Spirit of the most high. Thank you. I'm seeing this so visually, so I hope I am explaining things. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. There's so many trees. Let's get one more. Oh, I got a I got a shit ton. I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright, how many did I get? I'm curious. One, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Wow. I got 12. Okay. Look at these trees. See, I'm telling you, there's one tree, there's, sec there's a second tree, and here's a Christmas tree. Look at all these trees. No, I got 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. That's Scorpio energy. That's transformation. So you have here the Christmas tree. These are the holidays. But I literally am seeing a forest with this energy. You have here the tree of life. All right. Look, I'm going to do this visually, <laughs> putting all the trees together. Oh, I'm talking about this at 13 minutes. Yeah, this is a really interesting transformative space. It's almost like you're giving light and you're giving spiritual energies towards another energy for it to transform, whether this is of yourself or of the cosmos or of someone else. It's interesting the way that it's coming through. Um, I don't know if you're assisting in someone's transformation or this is your literal transformation. I don't know. Um, but you have here two. This is, looks like a J. Someone's name could start with a J or their last name. But you also have here JJ. I'm hearing JJ. But these are actually two stockings. So we're getting a lot of, um, well, December, like Sagittarius time frame i have no idea what this is it looks like a very just like a mystical animal i was about to say seahorse but it doesn't look like a seahorse but you do have here you do have here a horse and that's this chariot energy that I'm feeling. So I'm going to say this is another horse. I don't know what that is. It looks like a horse. You have here two keys. You have here two keys. This could be opportunities. There's your one key. And there's your other key. So cool. I'm seeing opportunities. 
It's interesting because you have three trees, two of these horses, two keys, two J's, like two stockings. Oh, there's a lot of pairs. But I'm also getting like these are mirrors. Let's see, two J's. Sorry, these are two J's. That's stocking. You have here the tiniest freaking turtle. Okay, something slow. See, this this is a turtle. This slow energy is necessary, okay, because of this space that you are focused on, this focused path where this energy is um, pulling on your energy to look at, to focus on to uncover something very unexpected. You're uncovering something unexpected here. This could even be an, an unexpected person, an unexpected transformation of self, unexpected news, um, unexpected secrets from the universe, um, but it's gonna benefit you in some way. You also have here a church, all right? Uh, wow, I just heard it's gonna test your belief. Because, well, why? I don't know why I heard that. It's going to test your belief. And then you have your spider, which is creation. I'm also seeing a web. Like, don't get caught in the web. Don't get caught in the web. And then you have here a leaf. A new leaf, a new life, new change. Don't get caught in the web. Like, don't get caught in the web. Just focus. Take things slow. Don't get caught up. Um, it could be even, like, obsession. Because I know you're really fixated on this energy to try to explain things since it's approached you, since it's seeking you out. As we all know, what you seek is seeking you, right? Um... You really have to have faith and trust and belief. But I keep hearing like it's gonna test your it's gonna test your faith or test your belief. Alright. We'll see how those charms unfold as well. Okay, let's get into um wow, 17 minutes of me just doing that. <laughs> Uh, I have so many, I have a lot of people that complain that I take too long, um, but hey, whatever, I just flow, I mean, what is time anyway? Uh, if this is for you, I mean, you'll listen, so, all right, let's see, let's see what this is all about for Sagittarius, I mean, I feel like we channeled most of it. <laughs> Wow, you have here the root girl, the disowned self. Yeah, see here I was saying, um, see that's where these trees are coming in. See all the tree charms? We got three of these trees. I won't hold them up again. Um, but you see here I was how I was saying there's something coming out of this forest is something that I keep seeing in my head. And here you have root girl root girl, the disowned self. So this could literally be, for some of you, yourself, your inner child, an aspect of yourself that is coming out of this depth, out of this forest, roots on top of the head because it's not grounded, it's not rooted down, but it's almost like these are also serving as antennas, okay? It's like your disowned self your inner child has literally taken the roots from the ground, placed them on top of their head, started to use them as antennas to call you, to call you and draw you into this focused path, into the 11th frequency, into this 11 energy to, to give this a voice. Oh, I'm gonna get emotional. Oh. 
because I just feel like oh <laughs> I feel like your inner child hasn't had a voice it's been seeking you this entire time see also the leaves on top of your inner child's head and you have here the leaves it's number 46 which is 10 oh my goodness what is this <laughs> Ooh, okay let's take it <laughs> um You have here 14, which we did say 14, um, 34, 43, 7, and 7, 7, 7 is 14, uh, experiencing life as it comes, and this was in your previous reading as well, of shifting into a new experience, okay? You do have here the perfect storm, there is that crow energy that has been non-stop around the collective, it's number 44, which is divine protection and then you have here first breath beginner's mind i'm telling you right now it's almost as if i'm seeing your inner child integrating with you and oh my god your inner child this is your inner child's transformation it's like your inner child maturing your inner child growing up your inner child ascending. I'm so emotional in this energy. Your inner child is ascending. And it's taking a first breath. In a new experience. That you have helped cultivate. For you. The perfect storm this perfect storm energy that's this tower energy that i feel it's it's the mars energy that i've been feeling for quite some time there's some kind of new experience that you're shifting in and i feel like this is shifting in, in four days i feel like this is coming in fast here with this horse energy there's new experiences Okay, I feel like that's why there's two keys. Multiple experiences. It's an um and multiple opportunities. But you know what's so crazy is one of this key is literally smaller than the other. Like look how small this key is. And look how big this key is. Look at that. It's like the small inner child is getting its own opportunity. <laughs> um let me get into this and then we'll get into the tarot. It's going to be a long reading. Um, like I feel this incredible energy. I, why, please tell me why I feel like you're this crow. Like the way you're presenting yourself to me is through animals and forestry. Like you're presenting your energy to me through animals and earth matter consciousness. So I'm seeing that you are this crow and like you've been going down your mission and your path and like your heart space has opened so drastically through your journey, through your own ascension. And it's like literally this inner child is coming in and moving into the space see that light that's that call this has been calling you you have also been seeking it what you seek is seeking you what's so freaking beautiful is you see that light right there do you see that light look it's this it's this light right here oh my god look at that that spirit right now confirming this integration.
And remember how I was saying like this 11 energy is like this, that's that 11 energy. And like in between here are all the patterns, are all the recurring signs so that you can help to explain things. Look at this energy move. That's the 11, okay? Those are those two pillars. And that's the energy moving. That's like the, how do I say it? That's like the energies of the inner child. That's the energy of your inner child right there being acknowledged. You're acknowledging the patterns. You're acknowledging, acknowledging the signs, the synchronicities. And as you acknowledge that, you give it life. You're giving it transformation. You're giving it ascension. You're giving it a path. It's like you're granting it access to move. Look at you. It's literally coming up this way and it will integrate here into you. And take its first breath in a new experience, in a new opportunity. Wow. <sighs> Growth <laughs> number five. Oh my God, new beginnings at the bottom of that. Number two. Let me shuffle and get one more. Or two more, however. Many you have here, Will. Number 13. We talked about this. Number 13. It's transformation realization wow look at that big big key look at that big keyhole and like you got the two keys look at you Boom. realization this is number three so i'm seeing a 313 for some of you okay um When you start to understand what you could never understand before, giving something voice that doesn't have a voice. Remember how I said, be careful not to get caught in the web? Um, because I'm getting, it's, it's a really emotional energy. Wow, as I said that, <laughs> okay, spirit, <laughs> spirit coming through, I'm serious, spirit is seriously coming through in this energy right now. There's a spider. Don't get caught in the web, because you're going to uncover so many things. It's just really important to stay focused on your, like, why... You feel so drawn to this energy. Stay focused on your mission. Stay focused on your path. Stay focused in this integration. Stay focused on that transformation. Um, like, don't try really hard not to get stuck in those traumas. Okay, like you're stronger than you've ever been before. Okay, that's that's what I'm getting with that energy. Like, don't get stuck in those traumas. Okay, there's. They're, they're, they're not necessary to dwell on. They're not necessary because a vulture spirit is here for a purification and transmutation of, of that old web, of that those traumas, okay? The vulture is literally here purifying this web, transmuting this web, and releasing it. So don't get stuck in it. Um, just let, let the transformation occur. You are giving your... Again, what did I say about you're allowing something to transform? You're doing this. It's because of you. Something suppressed is no longer suppressed because of you. The disowned self. <laughs> okay? The inner child is no longer suppressed. That voice is no longer suppressed. Let's get into the tarot. We channeled this entire thing. 
Let's let's see what we got. Uh, oh my god. Your golden egg, your golden opportunity. Wow. Let me tell you something. There's something very, very powerful with this integration. Your inner child is magic. Your inner child has powers that are so close to source energy, that are so close to, I'm going to say it, so close to death. Your inner child is so close to that, that veil, okay, that life and death, that veil. There is so much like pure energy because that's what I'm seeing with the egg. That's what I'm seeing with your inner child. When you integrate with your inner child, because it's happening, something unexpected. What do we channel? Your mission uncovered something unexpected. That's the golden egg. That's why there's two keys here. There's, me, there's a huge opportunity here that's being uncovered. It's something unexpected. These could also be just unexpected energies, ways of life that you never thought that you would have. Remember how I said your belief is going to be tested? Are you going to believe it when you see it? Are you going to believe when you start to feel incredible, when you start to feel happy? Are you going to stop yourself from being happy? Are you going to believe in miracles when this occurs? God, I keep getting so emotional in this space. So I want to go back to this for a second. You know when like children, some children are really powerful. Um, there are children that remember their past life so clearly. Do you ever like you, you know why? You know why, right? When when children start to remember their past lives at such a young age, it's because they are so when they're that young, they're really close to that veil, okay, that that life and death energy. They're the closest to life and death, that veil, when you're a child. So when you integrate with your inner child and see this egg, that egg is that's that in-between energy, in-between life and death, okay? When you integrate with your inner child, it's almost like you're bringing in, you're bringing in and you're housing these pure source energies inside of yourself and they are unleashing more potently, if that's even a word, and more openly than before because now your inner child is integrated. Does that make sense? So it's like, it's like your inner child comes and integrates with you. It's plugged in with you, but your inner child is also rooted and plugged into this pure source energy, the golden egg. It's so pure. It's so raw. I mean, I'm seeing someone eat a raw, raw egg. I don't know if someone does that. I, I don't know. But I'm literally seeing someone eat a raw egg. I don't know if that's symbolic of something. I have no idea. I've never got channeled that before. But it's so freaking pure. It's so potent. It's powerful. It's so powerful. Like, I can't say that enough. You want to know also something that's wild right now? These, synchroni these synchronicities are crazy. See this nest? Look at that nest under here. Look at that. Look at that nest. And you see that? That egg, it also looks like a world. But you see that nesting? And look at the growth.
Three of Cups. I saw you. <laughs> The Two of Cups. This is this is because I was just thinking about your love reading. Um, we're gonna get into your love reading, okay? We're gonna get into your love reading. I just want to finish this. Yeah, we're done. The Wheel of Fortune at the bottom of the deck. Yeah. You have here the four of swords. You have here the five of wands and the high mother effing priestess. I mean, we've been talking about this high priestess locking in. What did we just talk about? We talked about magic. We talked about pure source energy with the inner child. There are so many things right now happening with you. Like, I feel like I'm going to start levitating, like, at this point. Um, so your high priestess is locking in, okay? That's just a given. That's just a known at this point. You're experiencing the perfect storm of self where you are calling in all energies, that belong to you that are yours you're calling them in your energy is calling this in you had a huge realization on your path, on your journey, on your mission, however you want to call it. You had a huge, huge realization here. I'm literally just seeing you step into your power. I'm seeing that you have extremely strong will and determination to just continue on what it is that you're doing and what it is that you're seeking and what it is that you feel gravitated towards, what spiritual energies are magnetically connected to you or pulling you. It's like you are so strong-willed and I'm seeing you just like not budge at this time, but you're slow and focused. Okay, you have to be slow and focused so that you don't miss a thing. Okay, so that you don't get caught up, so that these energies don't overwhelm you, because it is a lot that you're bringing in. There's a lot that you're bringing in, and what's coming in is rooting itself into you and growing and growing. And where are you growing to? You're growing right into your new beginning. You're growing into your new beginning. Do you see that? I'm going to say that again. You are growing into your new beginning. You're rising up. You are. These are happening quickly. These are happening really, really fast. I'm telling you, there's a major shift on June 24th in four days. And that's this four of swords. Okay, spirit coming through again. They're like, look at the look at the four of swords. And here you have four, four, four. The perfect storm card 44, four of swords, four, four, four. This shift is this, the golden egg opportunity, the beginning. Some of you may have Gemini in your chart. I can feel it. 
I'm seeing Gemini and I can also feel this Gemini energy coming through. You might have watched or you may resonate with the seven year karmic cycle ending. Um, and also I made it a collective reading because a lot of people are ending karmic cycles and they're starting new cycles. This is the beginning of your cycle, Sagittarius, of your next cycle. You're taking a first breath into your new cycle. That's beginning and you're not doing it alone. You're doing it with your high priestess being locked in. You're doing it with your inner child locked in. And you're doing it with source energy flowing right through you so purely, so raw. That you are quite literally, I'm seeing the word shattered. You're shattering the old. See here, these five of wands, see how the six are just displaced in different places and directions on this card you've just shattered the old you've shattered the old matrix your matrix your old matrix you've shattered it remember how we talked about the web right you talked about the web um That's that old reality being shattered. And that's this five of wands here. That's what I'm seeing. I know that's not the traditional meaning, but that's what I'm seeing. Shattered. It's all over the place. But what happens when something's all over the place? It comes back together in a different form, in a different way, in a different cycle. So what you shattered, right? That vulture spirit is going to take these energies, transmute them, purify them. There's that purification again. Purify them. And they're going to drop them in. They're going, like these old constructs, energy doesn't die, okay? It gets transmuted. I'm seeing an old construct being completely obliterated because you finished something, you've concluded something, you're moving on, you're growing, you've grown out of this. This is what you left behind. Small little fragments. It's not needed. You don't need it. So what they do is they get transformed. They get transmuted. They get purified. Okay, and I'm seeing it take on a new form. Wheel of Fortune at the bottom of the deck for a reason. This is confirming your next cycle. So these energies here gets transmuted into a new form. Boom. Boom into your next cycle, the Wheel of Fortune. And you have two keys, two opportunities. You're gonna have a lot of success, Sagittarius. I'm seeing a lot of success for you here. Golden egg, I'm seeing golden opportunities, two keys. Something around the holiday time, something around your birthday is also um, very significant for you, okay? There's going to be an opportunity of love sometime around your birthday that's going to be more um, evident of a community, evident of coming together, um, evident of reconciliations, like just bringing in people together, okay? Um, I'm seeing new love, right? I did channel that new love. There's something around your birthday, okay, Sagittarius, something around your birthday, something around the holidays, where something is going to be more evident of this or that, okay, is something that I'm seeing here. I'm seeing new opportunities form between people. I'm seeing new relationships form. I'm seeing just a lot more togetherness. Um, healing friendships, healing relationships. Um, I 
These are also five cups, which is change a lot. You, there's going to be a lot of, yeah, growth here, number five. There's going to be a lot of, um, a lot of changes around the holidays. Okay, a lot of changes, good changes. Okay, because there's energies that are that are taking form in your new beginning. So you're going to see those changes more evidently around your birthday. Okay, they're going to take more form. Okay. So I see them being hatched, okay, in your new beginning, in your cycle, and they're going to take form around the holidays, around your birthday, all right? Wow. This is, um, this is your spiritual growth message. I'm going to leave the Two of Cups out, okay? We're going to flow into your love reading, all right? I know this was a long one, guys. Um, thank you for being patient with me and respecting my pace with spirit. I know I get the weirdest comments sometimes of, it's too long. You're so annoying because you take too long. I love taking my times and readings. I will go as slow as I can. <laughs> All right, guys. Um... I love you guys so much. I want to be as thorough as possible and as clear as possible in what I articulate because I'm very responsible for these messages and how they come through to you. And yeah. All right. So we talked. So we did talk about um, this two of cups that came out in your spiritual growth reading. I am seeing. So what did I channel? I did channel new love. Okay. I said new partnership. Um, you could be seeing 1111 or 222, okay? You also have your two keys, all right? There's something around the holidays around your birthday, okay? Um, and there's a shift in four days, okay? Because you're shifting into cancer season, all right? Um, so let's see. Let's see what message needs to come through, and we'll see if we need to tie in the channeled messages as well. All right, and also get charms regarding your person. Oh, right, wedding. All right, here we go. Calling in your soulmate <laughs> at the bottom of the deck. All right, here we go. Um, So you're going to marry this person right off the bat. Thanks, spirit. Just like that very soon. All right. <laughs> okay, I'm picking up on new partnership. Sometimes I get storylines. Sometimes I get three pathways. Sometimes I get four pathways. Sometimes I only get one. This is a very specific new partnership that spirit is coming in that I'm picking up on. You are manifesting a soulmate, manifesting a whoever that you want to describe them. All right. However you want to define the relationship, um, the part, the pairing, but this is calling in your soulmate. This is the one that you marry. <laughs> okay. Um, and spirit is saying clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Okay. Well, wow, there's a strong magnetic attraction. Wow. Worth waiting for an attraction again. Yeah. You guys are totally manifesting this right now. You're, oh yeah, I'm gonna, I am going to look into this person. We're going to pull some charms on them and see their attributes. <laughs> Oh my god, the sun. All right. All right. Ooh, Sagittarius. All right. Beautiful Sagittarius. Ace of Wands and the King of Cups at the bottom of the deck. This is um, really passionate. This is something where I know it's really cheesy, but literally what I'm seeing is like sparks will fly. See the sparks in between your hands? Sagittarius, I feel like 
you've been waiting for this for a while worth waiting for and i'm not saying like a year two years i'm seeing like a while like you've been like more than two years maybe three four five i don't know but a long amount of time to feel something that you've never felt before with someone um and i am seeing that uh, look at you look at you queen of wands and look at them king of king of cups yeah i'm seeing that you've waited a really long time for this and that's why spirit is saying very soon just clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now because i do see that you are in this creation energy right with the ace of wands you are creating this you are attracting this into you um again like you are so magnetic with your energy sagittarius that you are literally pulling things out i feel like you are pulling this person like towards you like i can feel it like you're literally like i know this is about magnets and chemistry this is a magnetic connection but i'm telling you i see energy and i feel energy remember how i was saying saying about that 11 pathway that 11 energy that 11 frequency that we talked about in your sp spiritual growth message i'm not going to reiterate but it's like you're on your mission you're on your, your journey you're on your pathway and something just pulls you in something pulls on your spiritual magnetism your energy is so large it's so big like you're literally in this sagittarius truth seeker high priestess locked in energy where you are pulling truth out where you are unearthing energies and you're doing it so gracefully and so easily you're just doing it it's like it's just who you are you're just pulling things out and you're pulling this person i feel like you're also pulling them out of something i feel like they're they're um ace of cups you cannot make this up i'm telling you this is the one you marry this is new love i'm picking up on new partnership i'm picking this is a group that is single you're not like i'm seeing like you're not even talking to anybody you're not interested you're not interested you're looking for something very specific and i feel like you are very clear i feel i know this card says clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now i feel like sagittarius you are super clear this group you are crystal clear and so i feel like you're not talking to anybody like i'm getting this this group that you're not on any dating websites i'm seeing that you're very attractive i'm seeing that people do come up to you but it's almost like you instantly know like you know when you know you know you're looking for something specific It feels like you know exactly what you're pulling. You know exactly what you're pulling. You don't know exactly what they look like or who's on the other end, but you, you feel it. And so when someone comes to you, when someone starts talking to you and you're just like, no, this is not what I'm pulling. That's not what I'm pulling towards me. I'm holding this. I'm pulling this kind of, of an energy and someone's coming at you like this, talking to you, hitting on you, attracted to you, and you're like, mm, no, I'm pulling something else. Do you see that? Two keys. Two cups, two roses. Three trees. Two J's, JJ. Remember, I was saying someone's name starts with a J. The magician. We can't. I like. We're channeling this entire thing. Cards are just going to confirm it. Magician, creator, creatrix energy. You're pulling this in. I don't know how many how many times I have to say this. Magician. Um, I'm getting also Virgo energy. The devil, Capricorn energy, because the Capricorn energy. Remember what I said. We're gonna we're gonna pull some energies on this person. I'm gonna I want to know details about them. I'm gonna get details about them. Could be a Capricorn, but this came up in reverse. And I read energy. I read energy. Doesn't matter if it's in reverse or not. Doesn't matter. Um, 
you're pulling them out of something. It came up in the reverse. You're pulling them out of something. Five of Pentacles on the bottom. Tell me more. Tell me more, Spirit, because I am a nosy one today. Um, Six of Wands. I'm saying, oh, literally, this is a wedding. This is a wedding. This is the first time I've ever seen it. Look, there's a... There's a bride right there with the white gown. And that's, again, the wedding. This, this is the wedding. They're showing me the wedding. Two of Pentacles, eye to eye. I saw the fool, I knew, I knew the fool. I saw, I saw the fool and I was like, do I acknowledge the fool? Nah. Um, and then you have here the Nine of Cups. Oh, here we go. Here we go. This is what you're pulling them out of. Okay. King of Wands at the bottom, the Empress and the Sun. Eight of Cups in the reverse. Seven of Swords in the reverse. Two of Wands in the reverse. Three of Pentacles in the reverse. The Hermit. All right. Um, this person is pretty wealthy. This person's wealthy. This person has had some uh, success here with the King of Pentacles. Um, the six, uh, I'm sorry, Nine of Wands right there and the Four of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords in the reverse. See, it's interesting. Even if you do not know who this person is, your energy is literally pulling them out of something. Like, I can feel it. Like, I, I can't... Oh, oh my God, look at this. Look at you. Remember how I said there's a bride here? Look at, there's a reason why I wanted these cards today. Look at you pulling this person out. You're pulling them out. I'm telling you, I can feel it. You're pulling them out. I'm done. That's a wild. So, okay. This is energetic, okay? Oh my god, you're you're coming through as this person's angel. Like you're the you're the angel. When they see you, they'll know. They'll know because of your heart. They'll know because of your soul. You helped, you helped them. You're helping them. You're pulling them out of something. This is wild. I feel like, again, like this is, this says bank. Okay, this person went through something financially. Um... They got hurt financially somehow. But this person is very financially secure. Okay, here is what I'm seeing here with the treasure box. This person is very financially secure. Okay, very, very, very financially secure. But when this happened to them, whatever this poor investment was, um, this could have even been a partnership gone wrong just made a poor choice, okay, um, could have even just been the economy, um, the industry that they work in, you know, what happened with the pandemic and the jobs, they plan very well, don't get me wrong, they plan very well, but there was something unexpected that they don't need, they couldn't even foresee, okay, and I'm seeing them that they may also be in some kind of risk management or they assess risk, um, very clearly in their life all right but there was some when this happened when this financial hit happened to them it really started to bruise them it bruised them okay it hurt them pretty bad um more so of like their ego and their pride than 
a financial hit. Like, even though, yeah, they had a financial hit, but they're just like, oh, whatever, it's money. But it hurt their pride. It hurt their ego more than anything else. And it's almost like you're helping this person. You're just saying, oh, it's okay. Like, don't worry about it. Like, get back up on your feet. It's like you're, again, it's, it's, it's kind of like that Virgo reading that we did a really long time ago where it's titled, you're the angel on their shoulder. Okay, like you're helping them, you're assisting them, you're that spirit, you're that angel, you're that miraculous energy in their life, even if they don't know you, okay? Um, I'm seeing ways are being cut, like paths are being forged um, as we speak right now. So this is fate. This is fate. This is this is just like I'm seeing just paths being forged here. This is the nine of wands. I'm getting like a lot of determination energy. This person is really also like they're up on their feet. They're up and about after this hit that they took. You helped them. Your energy helped pull them out of this, and they're up on their feet and they're far, they're they're forging new pathways. Okay. It's like little, oh my God, little do they know the path that they're forging also leads to you. It leads to you. I'm seeing that you're going to meet this person very like uh, serendipitously. Um, it'll happen. Oh, I just got the shivers. Yeah, it'll happen um, very serendipitously. Okay. This person may also notice you from afar. This person may also, I don't want to say like catcalling. It's not catcalling. It's like this person sees you. This person will see you. They'll even come up to you. So if you're like out and about shopping, sitting, have, having dinner with your friends, I'm seeing this person like want to speak to you. Okay, they'll, they'll be drawn to you. They're going to take action towards you. Okay. Um, I thought I saw the seven of cups. Oh, it's the nine of cups. Okay. Um, so I am seeing a child here with the sun and the empress. You are going to have a child with this person. Some of you may even conceive this child on your wedding night is something that I'm seeing here. Um, the devil in reverse with the nine of cups underneath it. I am seeing that something in excess is no longer in excess. This could be your energy or them. Um, but I'm seeing someone was either drinking too much or smoking too much or like there, there's a removal of an excess energy, okay? Like too much of something is, is being released, okay? Is also something that I'm seeing here, all right? Um... When you meet this person face to face, it's going to be extremely in sync. You're going to, you will get everything that you desire here with the Fool and the Nine of Cups. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you, sorry, I just bet, um, braces and a device on the roof of my mouth. It's just my speech is a little bit impaired excuse me, um, <laughs> your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you two together. When you meet this person, you're going to receive so many confirmations that it is this person. Again, it's that pull. When you know, you know. All right? I want to pull charms on them. I want to get some, like... I just feel super nosy in your energy. Plus, I'm a Sagittarius. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Whoa. Okay, yeah. Cancer season for sure. Um, I want more. Sorry. I'm going to get more because I want to. Okay. Thank you. All right, you have here the mermaid. Yeah, you have here ocean waves. 
Okay, you have here a seahorse. You have here a fish. Okay, there's this person is very, very successful. They could also be um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You have here a koi fish as well, so it definitely could be a Pisces. You hear two butterflies came out. Again, there's a lot of pairs coming out in your energy. This person's name could definitely start with a J. You have here a third stocking um, and a skate. Okay, so there's that theme again of winter, um, around your birthday, around the holidays, okay? Um, oh, look at that love. The love charm came out. Beautiful. Yeah, this will be love. Of course, this is love. You have here another fish. You have here another two seahorses. Wow. It's interesting. So lots of lots of prosperity, like financially, this person is so financially set. I'm seeing another another fish, another um, yeah, lots of success. You have here Queen Elizabeth II. Uh, Capricorn actually got this charm as well. You also do have here Capricorn, so you could be dealing with the Capricorn. You have here the elephant. This is Lord Ganesh energy. You have here the unicorn. This is something different. This is something unique. It's. I also feel like, again, it's almost like, do you believe it when they come? It's like, is this too good to be true? Did I really manifest this guy, this girl? Do they actually exist? Is it going to be like the rest? It's like you really have, like, this is going to test your faith. This is going to test your belief and how much you trust yourself and how much you trust the divine. You do have here the cross. So someone could be, um, you know, religious or wear the cross, however that may be for you. You also have here the skull. This person went through a loss. This person could have also gone through a physical, like lost a loved one quite recently, put them in some kind of depression here, um, but they're coming out of it, right? You're pulling them out of it. And you do have here the horse, okay? Um, that's very significant of cancer season. I definitely feel like there's a shift in four days. Doesn't mean that you're going to meet them in four days, but there is some kind of major shift for the Sagittarius group in four days. Okay. Um, and then you have here a Hello Kitty. So someone could like Hello Kitty. Okay. Have a lot of Hello Kitty, um, maybe charms or, you know, stuff. Um, yeah, I'm definitely getting the holidays. Something around the holidays is going to be super important for this group, like around the holidays or around your birthday, very, very specific. Um, I'm seeing this person is really tall, uh, like taller than you. Okay. So if you're, if you're a woman, like this guy's taller than you. All right is something that I'm picking up on. Because you have like a big key of a short key. You have a big butterfly, a smaller butterfly. So I'm seeing like the body dynamics here is something that I'm seeing here. This could also be um, like... Um, Like, it, even if it's, like, same sex. Like, I'm seeing one person is taller than the other person. Okay? Um, this person, um, I'm seeing someone have a lot of, like, elephant, um, like, statues and things like that. This is Lord Ganesh. I'm seeing Lord Ganesh is removing obstacles in this person's life. This person loves to swim. This person, I'm also seeing this person have a boat. This connection with all of this water theme, this connection is really going to flow naturally. So you really need to, when you meet this person, just let go and let things flow naturally, okay? This connection is very unique here with the, uni with the unicorn. It's like you find the unicorn. It's like you're a unicorn, you're finding the other unicorn <laughs> to you. Um, it's just something different. It's something that you want to experience. You want to experience something different. You want to experience something 
uh like worthwhile and not just worth waiting for like i feel with this group it's like it's it's not easy finding a unicorn it's not easy finding that kind of love that you're that you are seeking that you want that's for you it, it just hasn't been easy for you and so that's why the unicorn is here it's like it's worth waiting for it's worth it it's definitely worth it okay um this person does enjoy fishing is something that I'm seeing here. Like they like to fish. This person could also be, um, I'm getting a chef. I'm getting a chef. Okay. It could also be like a seafood restaurant or something by the coast or something by the water. This person may live by the water. I'm seeing that you guys are going to have three kids together. There's something about three kids. Um, I'm seeing someone have a wave tattoo. Like it could just be like that kind of just like wave. I don't know. It's like a very small like wave tattoo. I'm seeing. I don't know if you can see that at all. I'm seeing a wave tattoo. Okay, this was your reading. Again, it's it's a long one, but I love you guys so very much. Until next time.